let's make it a good day. because this next story is going to make you have some new cravings. It's the newest dining destination in the Twin Cities and the perfect spot to check out this weekend. The market at Malcolm Yards just opened this week in the Prospect Park neighborhood of Minneapolis. It's aiming to be much more than just a food hall, offering up flavors of all types. I got a chance to visit Malcolm Yards earlier this week and try out a few of their foods. I've been thinking about this. I've been wanting it. It's a food hall in Prospect Park. Yes, you heard me right. Why pick Prospect Park? The neighborhood of Prospect Park has just exploded with new oh, residential yeah, with and O'Shaughnessy yeah. and all these different people. And I mean, you're in the light rail. It's a really vibrant community, and we're, so we're developing this land in a great location. But I want people right. to come from all over the Twin Cities. There are nine chef-owned and operated concepts in here. I wanted food that was fast casual gourmet that was exceptional that that someone would want to come from Maple Grove or Woodbury and get in their car or take light rail and come down and and I think we all need this right we've had we've had a tough couple of years here and and we all just need to have some fun and gather together cool so I was thinking because I like to eat all the things at the same time. I'm gonna make myself a nice little spread of an appetizer, a lunch, and a dessert. And it all comes with a drink. Ooh, it's hearty. Usually you're like, okay, it's healthy. There Boom. you go, nice, heavy. That's just like added five pounds to my tray. I saw your hands drop. Ben just added five pounds of ice cream to my tray. Am I complaining? No. No, I'm not. I ran around and I got some food. I got a little app, a charcuterie board from Sunday. I got some sushi and I got some burgers and ice cream. And now it's time for some drinks. Yay. What are we doing here? We have 19 drinks on tap, which is really exciting. Of the 19 drinks, nine of them are paired perfectly with each of the vendors. And so I brought the drinks that are gonna pair perfectly with what you have ordered today. You were telling me that they're on tap too? Yeah, yeah. My vision for this place was how can we create, you know, a very elevated program that's really beautiful and right. exciting, but also as efficient as possible. Right. You know, this place can see a thousand people at a time. And so we wanted to be able to, you know, create something unique, but also be able to turn it out really quickly. Sunday, charcuterie board. Yeah, I mean, when I think about, you know, charcuterie, enjoying something like this, I think about being out on the patio. Uh, sangria, you know, just kind of makes a lot of sense. And so we have an all day rose sangria, meaning we dare you to try and drink it all day. We're going to sell it in large <laughs> format as well, so you can grab a 750 of it and walk outside with your friends and enjoy that. We are going to take the sangria that we just pulled off of the tap, and we're going to garnish it with a little bit of uh, dehydrated orange, blackberry, like so, just very quickly Ooh. like this, and a little bit of a flower. To take a little bit of a citrus extract on the top so you get all that arom aromatic. So one of the things that I think you miss when you're making drinks on tap is some of those aromas that happen when you're making cocktails a la minute. Okay. So we reinforce those back. So this is guava and citrus notes. There you go. Just got such a good spray of that, like all up in my business. Not thoroughly. The second cocktail uh, we're going to pair with Bagu Sushi, one of my favorite sushi spots in town. Uh, and what we've done is we've done a, uh, a martini inspired by one of the pieces of graffiti here. You'll have to check it out. But this is called the Velvet Martini. So it's a nitrogen saturated martini. This is a raspberry, yuzu, and lemongrass extract. And then this is a basil and lemongrass oil. And we just put it right on top of the ice. Again, nitrogen soaked uh, martini with koki americano sake, and modest vodka. Um, how does one come up with a craft cocktail to go with ice cream? I did some R&D at their other site, right? I had to eat a few burgers, eat some ice cream. Really hard work. Lots of hard work yeah. here. Mm -hmm. um, what I came up with was a drink that I call animal style. This is a Long Island iced tea. Okay. At, at its heart, oh, it's God. a Long Island iced tea. Oh, <laughs> so I'm using four different local spirits. I'm using uh, Gamliot Aquavit, Unor Gin, and their mixed blood whiskey. And then I'm using what I call a hot pink lemonade. And then we carbonate it on tap. And then we're gonna do some whip. Whoa! Take two. And then we're gonna do some whip. This is non-dairy whip. And then we're gonna take some uh, sprinkles. 
And then we're gonna take some of these animal crackers. I don't know how these got away with being called crackers, but uh, there's one. Don't tell my mom. Right? Here's two. There we go. That is the animal style for Baby Zito, so give that a try. See that thing? I wanna take it home and frame it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't take it home and I didn't frame it. Not the whole thing. Um, yeah, obviously, like, I just took a little sip of everything. They're alcoholic drinks. Um, but right. that was really good if you like, you know, sweet and fun flavored drinks to go with the food that you're eating. A cool but idea. I know you were there, too. Yeah. What and they have, like, really the, beer, like? The, ball, the beer wall. It's like yeah. a self-pour tap wall. So if you're not maybe into the fancy drinks, mm -hmm. they got the beer for you, too. Mm -hmm. um, I, at Vellum, just, it's a vegetable eatery. Yeah. But they're doing things with vegetables. It's not like a salad. They have right. salads, but I mean, it's just next level. Everything we had there was so really good. good. Yeah, and it's just a cool vibe. Like, it's just well, yeah. a really, really cool space. And if you aren't familiar with Prospect Park, uh, it's right across the street, and it's not like a busy street, nope. from O'Shaughnessy Distillery that we took you to a few weeks ago, and then Surly Brewery. Yep. So it's a great little, like, hey, let's just visit this pocket, have some good food and drinks. It could be a whole destination. Meals, mm -hmm. drinks, fun. Mm -hmm. Get yourself an Uber. It's fun. You can learn more about Malcolm Yards online. Check out their website, malcolmyards.market. A little different than normal. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. We'll be right back with more. But no food. <laughs> 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 <laughs>